When I play EU4, sometimes the AI gets mad at me. For example, in one game, I played as Granada and retook Castile. This gave France like 20 aggressive expansion with me, which isn't very nice. Sometimes I play in Italy and I take a province. This naturally leads to the main join the coalition against me. In both of these cases, having good diplomats that can help me improve my relationships out of this mess would be quite convenient. But today I ask, if we build our country, no, humanity itself, in the image of maximizing our ability to improve relationships, well, what can we get to? So before we get into it, disclaimers, we'll be playing standard Iron Man setup, so no custom nations, those are basically cheating anyway. Some stuff I mentioned here is going to be practically impossible, but in theory, if you play millions of campaigns, doable, hence included. Furthermore, I'll be using a counter in the bottom of the screen, since we're going to be involving things that honestly get difficult even with console commands. So with that out of the way, well, let's sit back and enjoy the show. Now we're almost starting to set a precedent here, same thing in the land maintenance modifier run, but we need to start as a Native American, as we need to have access to the Native idea group idea set, or Indigenous if you prefer. So for our demonstration yet again, Caddo will be selected, but any Native will do. So as a Native in question, we need to of course open with Native ideas. Then take a non-military idea group, in our case it will be Humanist. Now it's time for the government reform, we need to become a Theocracy, so get Feudalism. And now with Feudalism embraced, you need to become Theocracy. Being a Theocracy of course allows us to pick up Divine ideas. Will we stay in a theocracy? Absolutely not. Once we pick up divine ideas, just open them is fine. We need to get out of being a theocracy. Now that we're back to being a monarchy, let's get the rest of the ideas sorted. We will need diplomatic, defensive, and trade. And now it's time for the policies. So, appeal to the old powers for 15%, multilingual diplomats for another 20%, the Diplomats Defense Act for another 20%, and finally we need another slot of ideas to get to the final policy, Solidarity. One source of this is Kingdom for the People, but it doesn't really matter which source you use as long as it doesn't hurt or improve relations. So with that, we take Solidarity for our final 15% improved relations. So now, with that out of the way, it's time we go to Europe and get to the main part of the RNG requirement. While doing all the things I mentioned before, you need to make sure that Hussite has, well, survived. If it hasn't survived, restart your run. If it has survived, become Hussite and get the 30% improved relations from pacifism. Maybe not right now, you're about to do a lot of things that would be considered not pacifistic and will hence incur a lot of stab hits. But I'm going to include the math for the purpose of this video anyway. Next, relatively simple stuff. Diplomat advisor and 100 prestige. Oh, and also make sure your ruler is silver tongued. So with all that out of the way, time for temporary buffs. Fight the event Competent Diplomacy for 10% improved relations, and then create a whole bunch of boats and uh, set them to privateering. You want your privateers to get reckless, popping the Reckless Privateers event, allowing you to apologize to the reckless of the privateers for another 15% improved relations. Finally, form Bavaria to get the 30% improved relations from Cohen and Franconia mission, and to end all of that, form Italy. And it's time for, well, the quote unquote big reveal and the insane final step. So back to this uh, demonstration here, our capital is still in the New World. When forming Italy, it will move to Rome. You want to get it back into the New World. Then you just need to complete a true one tag world conquest. That is, no colonial nations. Bear in mind that the previous event, Reckless Privateers, requires, well, someone to privateer. So to make sure that that doesn't run out, you need to complete your one tag world conquest within five years. Otherwise, that event will expire and your run will fail. And it does go without saying that while you're doing this, make sure you have no overextension and you're not over the governing capacity, since that will hurt your improved relations. However, once you've done that, at this point, all that is left is the simple step of creating some client states. See, we get plus 1% improved relations for every royal marriage. A client state has to be a minimum of one province large, and according to the Wikipedia, EU4 has 3,137 provinces. As such, create 3,136 client states, then get a royal marriage with all of them. Do you not happen to have 3,136 children? We better get busy then. Um, given the previous limits of 5 years for this, that's just 1.7 kids a day basically. I mean, pretty doable as a guy. And if you're a woman, that's actually illegal. Uh, according to YouTube Analytics, 102% of my audience is male, with a 2% margin of error. And there you have it. Now, I just want to take a moment to look back at what we've achieved in the theoretical run. Like most modified stacking builds, you end up in what can be best described as a dystopia. 
But in this case, we have an ex-Native American, ex-theocratic, Italian monarchy, practically running HRE 2.0 with every single possible country a client state, ruled from some random American province, while all their diplomats are running around apologizing for piracy and arranging marriages. I love you, fool. Well, if you enjoyed the video, a like and a sub will be appreciated. But that is all I have for you today. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.